It's recording. Definitely is. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to another fun packed episode on my channel. And with me today I have my nephew Matthew. All right. Also known as Matthias. Uh, Matty. Um, Matt. Matty M. Matty B. Matty B. And we also have here... Toby. Anyway. Um, we actually filmed an intro yesterday that for some reason I think my sausage fingers didn't push the record button. So the video that you're about to see was recorded yesterday. Right? Yeah. Yesterday. Um, and I mentioned in the, I think the beginning of the last video that I was going to show you what was in the garage uh, that was behind me, but not now because it's trees. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, thanks for watching. Peace. See ya. See ya. So here it is. Another one of my rusty Volkswagens. Um, this one I actually bought, um, I think it was in 2001. It's actually the second uh, air-cooled Volkswagen that I bought. Um, when I bought it, it was actually in like a mint green and I think the car had come from Switzerland if I remember and I had to register so that's why it's left hand drive. Um, I drove it around for about a year um, and it's uh, in the state it was. It was actually in quite good condition, the paint and everything. Um, and then I decided to do a little rust repair because I found a hole in the inner front um, wheel arch and then it kind of snowballed into a full restoration it was quite rusty some really bad repairs and the car had previously been modified heavily um, it had a chassis from a 77 Beetle hence the four lug wheels um, which I kept and I have replaced a lot of the metal on this because the Usual places like the heater channels and inner fenders, um, the front clip, the rear clip, were all pretty rusted out. Um, the bonnet was actually pretty bent up, so um, I got a replacement. It's obviously not the right one, because um, it doesn't have the, um, it has a, how do you call it, indentation? Whatever, raised indentation. Um, but... Yeah, it's been stuck in here for many years because I then moved to Finland and the project never got finished. So I don't really know what is going to happen in the future because although this is a 54, it has all the wrong bits. But at the time when I built it, it was cool to have everything custom. So I'm not too worried in that respect, but... Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with it, to be honest. Um, I have actually got um, the right year floor pan, which I bought from um, Yanni in Finland, who has my Karma gear at the moment. So I bought a floor pan from him, which it has to be restored. And I also found a 54 engine, standard engine, from a, a guy who was having like a car boot sale. So I have some original parts to put back on this, but I don't know what the future holds. The engine that was in this was supposed to go in my 64. Um, so that was kind of the basis of the engine I rebuilt that's in my 64. So this doesn't have an engine at the moment, except for this replacement one I bought, um, original year one. So anyway, we got some bits and pieces to move and we'll push this out in a second.
a bit dusty. So like I said, engine is gone. Um, but I did um, actually take the gearbox from a Type 3, I think it was a 1972 Type 3 Fastback that I had, um, which went to the scrap, which was the first Volkswagen air-cooled that I had bought. Um, so I took the gearbox off and the um, I took all the measurements for the um, to weld in the brackets for the swing arms. So this now actually has independent rear suspension um, with the fastback gearbox. Um, like I said, the engine, or I think it's only maybe the cam from that engine actually ended up in the engine for my 64. But yeah, I mean, as you see, back when I restored this, like 20 years ago, um, you couldn't readily get a lot of the panels for this age of car, so they were kind of universal from later cars. So as you can see, this rear panel is obviously the wrong pressing for a 54. Um, these rear lights were with it. Um, it should have the heart um, on top, the heart light. Um, and the well, the doors are actually pretty good shape. I haven't had to do any repairs on these, but it has the ribbed um, doors. Uh, I found the original steering wheel um, from a eBay years ago. I don't have the horn push. My sister bought me those furry dice when I was 17 years old when I passed my driving test. But as you can see, like a lot of work has been done, but it's not the original stuff. But hey. That's why I don't really know what to do with this car. The, you can see, if you look um, on the roof here, you can actually see the original blue, metallic blue colour that this car should be. And uh, the seats are from a 60s car, so again, they're wrong. But, I mean... And I kept the, these wheels on it because I, at the time, I thought it would be quite cool to have the later four stud wheels on an early car but you know fashion changes times change uh, original tank and everything but there it is what do you think matthew what should i do with it what should be done with it scrap scrap it all right fair deal good advice so there you go, scrap it. Also, the plan was to fit these cookie cutters, which I bought many years ago. And um, only a few years ago, I sourced some of these seven inch, I think. I think these are yeah, seven inch um, wheels. And I saw some six and a half inch wheels um, from Belgium, which are actually in Belgium at the moment. Um, so these I was actually going to put on this car. And I still quite like that idea. So look at that. Thanks to Matthew. He's done a superb job at getting this clean again. Thank you. You're welcome. Didn't mean it. Sure. <laughs> so what else have I done to this? Um, well, the front end is actually ball joint obviously because it has this later chassis but it's also been narrowed four inches and that is one thing i will again change if i am to redo this car um it has these lucas indicators as well as the semaphores 
Um, I was in a bit of a rush uh, because I was living in Finland and not having any time, only really when I came on holiday to do anything to this car. Um, I just was in a bit of a rush just to get this on the road and finish. So I actually painted this car with rattle cans. It was like this hard wearing um, paint for roll cages actually. And it isn't that bad considering, um, you know, the, the methods and everything. It's actually held up well, quite well because I think it was probably like 10 years ago I painted this. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can still see some of the original color, especially through here. It was like this aqua green or whatever you would call it. But there it is, folks, my 1954 Volkswagen Beetle. Please put in the comments what you think I should do with this car. Should we do what Matthew said? scrap it should i put it back to more original state and change the chassis over or should i just keep modifying it like it is put the cookie cutters on and stick with the original plan i don't know i don't know what to do you tell me okay thanks for watching people until next time look forward to your comments matthew where you gone matthew you gotta say goodbye And it's goodbye from Matthew. See you later. Cheers for watching. <laughs> Subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, like the video, please.